and we're on. Good morning. Today is July the 6th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we commemorate and remember uh, Jan Hus, a martyr. He was born in Bohemia, which is now would be the Czech Republic, around the year 1369. <clears throat> in 1400, he was ordained a Roman Catholic priest. In 1402, he began he uh, began preaching and writing against abuses in the Church of Rome. He was excommunicated in 1412. In 1413, he published a book on the church entitled De Ecclesia. And in 1415, this day, July 6th, he was burned at the stake for heresy in Switzerland. Jan Hus is considered the foremost predecessor of the Protestant Reformation. He was executed for, for his condemnation of church practices, such as indulgences, and for his teachings about the Eucharist and his refusal to submit to papal authority. At his trial, he appealed solely to the authority of Scripture. Protestants in the Czech Republic and all Moravian Christians hold him in high regard. Um, Lutherans also hold him in very high regard. Luther um, very much admired his works, and obviously a lot of the things that Luther um, said about indulgences and other um, things he felt were wrong with the church, some of those ideas, I'm sure, came from Hus because of just how similar they are. And if, if they didn't come from him, then they at least thought along uh, the same lines. And so um, his work was admired by Luther, and actually there are a couple of Lutheran churches um, in the United States that uh, bear Hus. Huss's name, I think, um, in doing some reading, there's a, a Huss Lutheran Church somewhere in like um, Northeast Ohio, and there might be another one or two around. Here's a quote from Jan Huss. Seek the truth, hear the truth, learn the truth, love the truth, speak the truth, hold the truth, and defend the truth until death. Let us pray. O oh God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through life with words of your Son. Give us the light we need, awaken us to the needs of others, and at the end bring all the world to your feast through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.